All right, hello and uh, welcome to the channel. I am going to talk about Cartesi today, which is, well, the first video in a few videos where I want to essentially talk about very good fundamental projects who have a strong technical side that are not that well known uh, in the space or not insanely well known in the space. They're very early and which I just don't hear a lot of fuzz about. Um, I want, I, I'm want. i not really going to talk about too much nonsense, like uh, mark, market, how the market behaves, like so far, and just financial investment advice. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to talk about the product itself, what it offers, um, and what it wants to achieve in the future. Mm. This is supposed to be kind of an introductory video, so you learn a little bit about it, but not. I don't want you, or I don't, I don't want to, um, go too deep into the software engineering part. So we're going to start with uh, on coin market cap. So Cartesi is ranked 175 uh, with a market cap of just close to 300 million dollars, and well, the fully diluted market cap is obviously a quite a bit higher and uh, it's uh, close to close close to 900 million dollars just because the circulating supply is that low we're gonna get to that later why um in the roadmap kind of so the question we're gonna start with is what is cartesi uh the slogan of cartesi is smart contracts taken to the next level if we're gonna get to why exactly they do that in the product page or when we talk about a product, but Cartesi itself is a layer two platform, which is essentially for the development and the deploy deployment of decentralized apps, um, scalable decentralized apps or D apps uh, in short. Now, scalability, there, there's a big emphasis on scalability. You're gonna hear that a lot when I talk and scalability is so important uh, for several reasons, but if you just think about a recent example of Ethereum, what is happening with Ethereum? Ethereum has huge gas fees, and that is because the fundamentally Ethereum is not built for scalability. Scalability means that as more and more users come to the platform and more the platform itself grows, like more more products get offered on it, uh, and that kind of stuff, whatever they offer, like it can be anything you obviously need more storage for your data. You need the platform to handle more data uh, better and or at the same pace at least. Ethereum can't do that. That's why they have so many gas fees because that data is has to be saved somewhere. Like the data itself has to have a storage, so to speak. Um, we're gonna get in the product page later of uh, how Cartesia solves this essentially, but the high gas fees come from the data that has to be storaged in, in Ethereum or has to be held somewhere. Now, Cartesi is or has a focus on scalability, on the problem of scalability. And just it's in like coding itself, like co computation and just an infrastructure of the blockchains. Uh, where obviously the gas fees, which we just talked about. Now, what that makes Cartesi special? Cartesi is essentially special because it allows coders to program on mainstream software stack. You probably saw it flash by here. Um, one was my SQL, which is one of the biggest programming languages or just database programming languages, as I like to call it, uh, and Python, which is the most well-known one uh, around the world, essentially in finance. Uh, it is mostly Python that is used like in banks. So a lot of people who want to code, they, they know those. They don't have to learn a programming language. They can program with the main in the main software stacks. And it is specifically developed for Linux. So you can develop and deploy decentralized apps in a Linux environment. And that is also unique to Cartesi. No one else does it. 
So the products. The pro there are two products, uh, Descartes and Noether, which are both actually named after mathematicians. Descartes was a French mathematician and Noether was a very, very good German mathematician, which doesn't really matter for us, but just uh, in case, like, just for, for fun. It's very, th those are very good. You can look them up. They did very uh, broad uh, or in research they did a lot in research in earlier years uh, so what does this card do this card is a decentralized computational oracle for ethereum like you can see you can see that right here now what does this mean right what is an oracle you probably ask so an oracle there is one very big one a top 10 coin is it 10 or 11 well, it's called Chainlink, which also functions as an oracle. So what, what does an or oracle do? An oracle, if you have a code on one side, a computer always has to act on something, right? So this oracle connects the code with a... Mm, product, anything, whatever, a commodity, doesn't matter. So essentially what you, what an oracle does is bridge the code to a commodity, so pre bridge computer code into real life as it is often described, but it's essentially just, just a bridge to those um, commodities. Mm. All right, and it, this card is ex made for massive computational tasks so it's just it has a lot of power uh, a lot of programming power those roll-ups as you see here specifically focus on smart contracts and they are basically you know, fundamentally they are uh, approaches to scaling ethereum the platform Ethereum, because we, as we talked about before, they're not really that good in scaling, and that's where Cartesi comes in. Mm. They also solve um, the problem of just having the data available, which is a big problem nowadays, as, as there's so much data. The second product is Nota, which is a high-performance sidechain for data availability. That's what it says. Uh, learn more. All right. So, Nurtel is essentially mean, or is, is essentially there for storage data, or in order to storage data, um, with largely reduced fees. So you don't have to pay much for for the storage that it does. The fuel it uses to storage that data is a coin called CTSI, the Cartesian coin itself. Mm. And it, because it fuels this Nurtair when you when you stake it in the program or in the uh, on the website, you can stake it right here. Hmm. Run a node, you can run a node, you can stake it now, and it, it just decentralizes it. As more and more people essentially fuel it, it makes the the project or the product itself decentralized. That's all it, all it wants to do. Now to the roadmap. All right. So what they want to do in quarter one, they wanted obviously to those two products to just develop them. Now in quarter two, as you can see, we're not at the test yet, a test net yet, which is pretty big because usually you probably heard that before, but people say buy the test net, sell the main net. We are not even at the main net, or not even at the test yet, net yet. So you're pretty early. Uh, they are gonna roll it up. They're gonna work, like have a new version of Nurtel, and just work on that on the uh, infrastructure in quarter two. And that's why I think the price skyrockets, like we we saw here, skyrocketed recently. Oh, where was I? Oh, here. Um, essentially because the test net's about to come out. All right. In the second half of the year, quarter three and quarter four, they're gonna have more roll-ups, and more importantly, this point, this got volume two point 
Rollups on mainnet. They're gonna essentially launch the mainnet in the second half of the year, or they hope they're going to do. Uh, as you know, people say buy the testnet, sell the mainnet, so make of that what you will, but the mainnet's not out yet. Um, 2022, we're not going to look at that because they are essentially, that, that doesn't really matter right now what they did, um, just what they have. One more important thing when you when you want to look at a project is the team. Uh, the team is actually public. The team is known. Like there are several projects or several other projects that are have teams that are not known. PancakeSwap, for example, is a big one that is not known, uh, where where you don't know anything about the team. And I always like to know about the team because I like um, from knowing the team, you know exactly what each person brings to the table, how committed they are. Maybe through a bear market, which is going to inevitably come. Uh, that they're gonna work through it. Mm. If you click on each profile, you're getting you're you're gonna get directed to LinkedIn, so you can see more about each person. Uh, what I want to talk about though is this guy Sergey Popov, which you didn't see here because uh, it's an advisor. Sergey Popov is an advisor and an investor, one of the earlier ones, and he's actually the founder of IOTA, which is. I think rank 31, also a very, very good fundamentally pro fundamental project. Um, I, I may talk about it in the future. But IOTA, uh, or Sergey Popov, essentially, basically, is the founder of that. So he is very smart. He's a very, very smart man. And him as an advisor is, all, is always big. Obviously, you have other projects, which have some YouTube business advisors, which are mostly marketing advisors, though, so it's not comparable. But Sergey Popov is actually advisor in, not in more, like in, in a technical way, which is, which I love. I think it's great. Um, just about the team, you can scroll through it yourself. The last thing I want to talk about is the core of Cartesi which is, well, you should read. If you are more into the technical side of things, go read it. It's 16 pages. It's it's quite big, and there's a lot of technical things, but it's really good read. It's really, like, what they're trying to do or what they want to do, the explanations that are in there, it's actually fantastic if you're getting into the project. You can find it on the web page. Um, I think if you just scroll down, you'll find it. Maybe not here. All right. Oh, yeah, in the about page. You can find it on here. But I I really recommend you if you read it. It's a really good read. You essentially learn a lot about the project itself from just reading that. And here you can see some partners, some known partners. You probably hear it's a Binance Launchpad. You know Polygon. Um, Ethereum chain, Traveler, IOTA, obviously, as the founder of IOTA, as the an advisor, and Avalanche. So pretty big, Elrond as well, uh, pr pretty big partners. And most of them are pretty big partners. Now, what, I, what I'm doing, essentially, I'm holding Cartesi from 0 0.33, and around the end of March, I got in. I learned about it. Uh, I learned about it essentially. I want, or I heard about it earlier, but I wanted to know more about the project before I get in. So I, I'm holding from around 0 0.33. I think it's a fantastic project. I'm not gonna like. There's no financial advice here. I can't give you any financial advice. I just want to introduce you to the project itself and what it does. And yeah, uh, that is about it. Uh, in the description below, I'm gonna post a few links to some definitions, M mainly like layer two blockchain. You should learn about those and smart contracts, obviously, oracles, that kind of stuff. Maybe I'm doing a video soon about them, just explaining them. But what is? it's really important that you learn what those are and what those do. And then you, you'll just learn so much about, about the, the projects itself about different projects when you know exactly what the these definitions are so if you want to learn them there are links in the descriptions i'm probably going to do a video about it soon but yeah 
thank you so much for watching and i i hope really hope you have a nice day peace and love